So one of the most important things when it comes to collecting your uh, receivables is being able to send a statement of account quite regularly to your customers and, and clients. Now to send a statement of account, what you do is you go to business, you go to invoices, and then you've got a button here called send statements. So if you click on that, what you can do is you can see all of the uh, outstanding customers, clients that you have who owe you money. So what you can do is you can email the statement of account directly from Zero, or you can download the PDF and email it to them directly if you wanna have a different message. So let's say I'm completely happy with this section and we'll, we'll talk about this section soon. And I want to send City Limousine a statement of account. If I'm sending it from Zero, I just set, click on the, the client, I select email, and then if you've already got the email address populated in your contacts, it will show here automatically. You can send the email directly from zero to your client, or you can print the statement of account. So you can have, obviously you have your different templates. So let's say very orange invoice template I want to use. I click okay. And then you can see the statement of account for your client you would attach to your email and send it to them. Now, in terms of what they see, so what you can do is you can have a few customizations in terms of what you show them. Now, the statement type can be activity or, or outstanding. Activity will include all of the payments and the invoices for a given client. So let's say I select 7-Eleven and I going all the way back to October and I select update. If I then print the statement of account, you can see the invoice. So if there was any payments, you'd be able to see the payment as well. Now, if I just wanted to see the outstanding, I'm gonna refresh that. I'm gonna select City Limousines, for example, and then you'll only be able to see the invoices are outstanding. So here you can see a payment column. This It's not gonna have any payments because all I'm going to do is I want to show them all of the invoices which are outstanding. So it's a bit more simple. Also, if you do the activity versions, you can go as far back as you want in terms of the activity that you want to show them.